In this video, we are going to take a look at a user preferences setting. Come to edit, drop down, come to user preferences and this is the window that will open up. Now once you come in this time units, there are few information that you will get to see immediately. We have unit of time and we have duration format. So if you take a look at this and if I just open this up, you can see the unit of time formats is in different options. We have in hours, day, week, month and year. Similarly, for the duration format, it has different options for us. It has hours, day, week, month and year. Let's keep them as day as a default. Now, there's one, one more option which says show duration label. If I check this, here at the example, you can see it shows D, which represents D. If I turn it off, you can see the D disappears. To show how it would affect or how it would look in your project, Let's check this and close this. You can see now the duration appears with a small d which represents that the project is in terms of duration. If I come to edit, user preferences and if I turn this off, it will go back to how it was. Now one thing where that would be useful is if you had your duration format in form of hours. So if I close this, now you can see that it is saying 208 hours or 40 hours. But someone who's taking a look at this might think that the project is of 40 days. I mean, this activity would be of 40 days, but that's not the case, right? So you come to edit user preferences and you have this option ticked. So it will show as H here at the bottom, here on the right. You can close this. Now it will have the small H appearing along with the duration which will give the user or your team a better idea of what the duration is for that activity. Let's change it to default. The way it was, keep it to day. Turn this duration label off. Make sure these are left out as it is. Under the dates, make sure you have this setting on. Day, month and year. Depending on your region, you can change it to any of this information. In the US, that it might be used as month, day and year. Here at the bottom, we have time format. Now, here we are not showing any of this information. Let's close this and come back to a sec again in a second. As I come back, come to dates. Now, if I click on this as in 12 hour format setting, you can see it is showing us a couple of examples over here. If I turn this on, say minutes, say I want to show minutes. If I close this, that is how it affects your start and finish columns. It will start showing the hours, the time of the day for your activities. Come to edit user preferences. Let's turn this off for now. Let's click do not show time and let's close this. 